I've done yeah, actually with, with, um, with, with an MMA trainer who gave me this cap. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and it's Ross <laughs> 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 He, he, he put it really interestingly actually. I'm going to put a video up so you can watch it. Uh, Leibniz had a really interesting, and I'm going to put this up just so he can. He explained it better than I explained it. He's got a background in philosophy. Leibniz had a good um, answer to this because he was a theist. And, and basically, what he said was that if you think about determinism as a train and free will as a parallel train, they work, they work in this, in, they, they kind of um, go in the same direction. Yeah? Now, there is no. You can say that there is no connection between those two trains, but they are still moving at the same time, right? So it's an apparent. He called it an apparent contradiction. Leibniz called it an apparent contradiction because, on on the face of it, it looks paradoxical, but the mechanisms of it are well defined by the creator who can put that into action. So, and this is really and truly an argument from ignorance. I'm going to say, well, I'm not saying that you've made this. No, no, I'm not yeah, saying that. I know I'm asking respect. Yeah, 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 yeah of course. It. I'm saying that uh, the, 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 the fallacy called the argument from ignorance. Yeah, logical fallacy. Yeah. So this logical fallacy is that when you don't know how something works, that you say it doesn't, it's not true. Just because we don't know the mechan, the, the the intricate mechanisms of something, it doesn't mean that it's not, um, it's not true, right? We don't know how quantum physics works. We don't know how quantum physics works. Yet we, we don't deny quantum physics in a sense. Yeah? So what as Muslims we maintain is that there are two things going on at the same time. Yes, God, God knows all things that are happening in the future. But at the same time, but at the same time, we have free will. So both things are coexisting at the same time. How is that? Because uh, if all your actions and your thoughts are already determined, you don't really have a choice. So what are your choices? So as I said to you before, going back to Leibniz's example, I'll put, you know what, this will be better. I'll put it up online, hopefully you can watch it, yeah? I'll put it up online, you can watch it, because he explains it in a much better way than I guess you're going to YouTube. Yeah, yeah, I'll put it up on my channel, hopefully, yeah. So that's, that's hopefully that. So that's the first part of the Shahada. So we say that there's no God worthy of worship except for God. And I say Muhammad Rasulullah. Muhammad Rasulullah is that Muhammad is the messenger of God. Yeah? Now really and truly, we don't differentiate. All the prophets that came, came with the same message. So obviously Jesus and Abraham and Moses, all of those messengers, prophets and messengers, came with the same fundamental message, which was La ilaha illallah, that first part of the Shahada. Which means that there's no God worthy of worship except for God. Right? So Muhammad, which is the final messenger we believe, right? Came with the exact same message, which is to uh, telling the people basically that there's no God worthy of worship except for God. Just submit yourself entirely to God. Uh, so that's it, really. Yeah. The, di the, the differentiating factor between Prophet Muhammad and all the other prophets yeah. is that he, we believe, yeah. was sent to all huma humankind, whereas all of the other prophets were localized messengers. Yeah. So, for example, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, we believe in Jesus Christ, the Messiah, for instance, Abraham, Moses, they were sent to their respective localities, right? And Prophet Muhammad would say that he, that's, he, the point of demarcation is that he was sent to all the human beings. Right? What, where is that um, mentioned where is that in the Quran? Where is that statement made? How did you come to that conclusion? Well, it says in the Quran. So, chapter 7, verse 100. I mean, uh, why are you saying um, Jesus is solely like a local guy? Right, so, in the Bible, in the Bible it says, Do not go in the way of the Gentiles, for I was only sent for the lost sheep of Israel. In the, New, in the Old Testament, the first five books, if you look at Moses, he speaks directly to his people, the children of Israel. So it's very clear, and there's a very famous story of a woman coming to Jesus Christ and she said, you know, I want your salvation, etc. And he said, I don't give it to the dogs, right? Obviously, we wouldn't believe in such a story. We wouldn't believe in such a story, right? But the point being is that um, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ was sent to a local people. And that's even, by the way, if you look at the exegetes of the New Testament, like there's a, there's a, there is um, an interesting exegesis written by the American exegetical, um, I can't remember the exact, it's like an American exegesis, yeah, a new one, contemporary, they actually say that the, the premiership of Jesus Christ was a localized premiership. So in, in other words, he came to his people. And there's not, it's very difficult to find something in the Bible where it says that the message was actually a universal message for all peoples. It's more for the, the children of Israel, not the Gentiles. The, the, yeah, so they, in other words, really the Quran is more explicit. So if you look at the Quran, in chapter 7, verse 170, uh, 158, it says, um, قُلْ يَا أَيُّهُ الرَّسُولُ إِنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ قُلْ يَا أَيُّهُ النَّبِي قُلْ إِنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِلَيْكُمْ جَمِيعًا جَمِيعًا That say I am a messenger to all of you people collectively all of you right in other words not the black or the white or the Arab or the non-Arab to all to all people and that's why the Prophet said there's no difference between a black man and a white man or uh, an Arab or non-Arab 
And the, the thing that differentiates all of these people is piety, good, good uh, deeds, basically, good character, or, or piety, taqwa. So that's what we believe. So we believe that Prophet Muhammad was a, a messenger for all people. So the two parts of the shahada is to, uh, uh, to negate and affirm, negate the, 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 the worship and deity of anything else that creates, and to affirm the deity of Allah, the creator of the universe, the same God that created the universe and sustains it, etc. And to also affirm that the Prophet Muhammad is a messenger. That's it. So what would you think about that? The thing is, you're already there. You already believe all that stuff, don't you? We were talking about it last night, and saying that yeah, the belief's already there. It's just that step of actually taking the shahada. I mean, so that's what the shahada means, really. Yeah. I've kind of abbreviated it. Yeah, yeah. So if someone declares it, if someone says, yeah, I believe this and I believe this, then we would consider that person a Muslim. Mm. Yeah. See what I mean? So would you say that you believe in those two statements? Okay, so what would, what would happen now is that I would say it in Arabic, the same statement I've just kind of put to you in English, you'd repeat after me and that, that's it. So that would kind of entrench it into your heart and then you can kind of go for the other pillars yeah. with, your, yeah. with your guidance yeah. and hopefully yeah. if you, or someone else, whatever, it will get you some people to help you. Yeah? So do you want to do that? Not yet. Not yet. Right. <laughs> Not yet. Okay, good. Shall in good time. In good time. In good time. But yeah. No. It's, it's nice. It's nice talking to you. Though. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah any time. That's right. Yeah, it's good. Hopefully, Tom Robinson comes. So shows up today. So you guys just hang around here, or would you like to go all the way around? Just well, I mean, that's here. how it is. We, we're kind of here. We're kind of here. We we'll ask, we we'll ask the questions. We we help people. Like you know, trying to educate people. That's it. Yeah. Do you get it? So. Yeah. This is free speech, you know. Tom Robinson doesn't like free speech. The thing is, I... Yeah, we'll come to that. We'll come to that. What's your religious background? Uh, no, luckily, because I didn't get enough. You said you believe in... Alright, come forward. Let's just let's speak. I'm, I think I, everyone should believe what they believe, and I think... Um, What's your name? I, I respect you for coming here. No, no, I respect you for coming here. No, no, no. no I'm just passing through. I'll go to work, actually. Oh, all yeah. oh, right. What, what time do you start work? So I don't know.